Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. I have just finished my long botanical journals putting the lace trim on the spine and I just wanted to do a quick flip through of the journals. I won't go through every single one exactly. They're, they're exactly the same inside more or less. Uh, this was my original journal and I did do a tutorial on how I made these. These are made with file folders and these are botanical book pages that were from a gardening series of books. I think there was at least 12 in a series and I don't know what the brand was. It could have been Reader's Digest or something like that, but it was um, annuals, bulbs, perennials, bugs, that kind of thing. And I just made glued the book page on onto a file folder and then used um, a gardening book, a gardening maintenance book that was quite large. And this is, it was for a whole year and it had all kinds of different pages in it. And I've used these for the inside pages. I'm trying to use up supplies that I have in my stash without going out and getting anything new. So this was the original and this is the one I used in the tutorial. Um, again, it's a file folder. And then on the inside, I've just used some uh, scrapbooking paper and this is a piece of that journaled paper. I've used another book page to create a triple pocket here and I've used some tea stained index cards, graph index cards for some journaling cards and these are some of the papers that I get in my monthly box from Your Creative Studio. Um, someone was asking me how I use my paper so I decided to use as many of the papers in this as I could. Um, so this is some of the paper pad that I've gotten and some washi tape. And this is from some of my Reader's Digest. I've added some washi stickers that come in my monthly mailing and I've used some stamps. This is also from a little pad from my monthly mailing. This is some washi tape that I ordered. And then all I've done is, it's just a creative journal that I've created for myself to write uh, when I make something like this to write the instructions and my ideas in so that I have all the written instructions somewhere. I tend to write notes while I'm making these things on different pieces of paper and then I lose them and then I can't remember and I have to go back and measure everything. So I thought I would create some journals to use to put uh, my creative process in. So in the back I've just used an index page from another gardening book and it's just, it was just a black and white sketch. And I just folded it in half and sewed three pockets into it and cut out the little thumb punches. And again, these are the papers from my monthly mailing. And I've just put some journaling cards on the inside here as well. I've used some butterfly stamps that I have. And this particular one, I just used my rubber stamps to stamp some of the images. This is a washi sticker. And then on the inside booklet, I've used those maintenance book pages. And all I've done is, some people like to leave book pages in there, but I want to be able to write on the whole surface. So I've just gone ahead and covered up some of the writing that is in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I've created some little envelopes here out of some, again, some black and white book pages. And then on the inside, I've used that paper that came in my monthly mailing. And this is perforated so I can rip it apart. Um, so I just put those in there and this was my first one so I've kind of tweaked it, oops, tweaked it a little bit more in the others and I will show you one of the other ones as well. And then it's just got some papers for making lists, some journaling pages, some graph pages. Um, I've just kind of used up and they're hand sewn in. I've used a pamphlet stitch and just used some labels and stickers. To kind of cover up some of that and then this had some weather I guess little clouds and suns and moons I've just put some old white stickers on top of those to cover those up so this is kind of what I've done so that I can use the whole book and write in the whole book so that was my original one and these um, measure about 10 by um, three and th three quarters wide and I've used some sorry silk for the ties so that was my original one. And then I went ahead and just continued on with some others and I used Sari Silk for all the ties. The book page, I've added some lace to the seam. This is the only one I used the, the tea stain lace with. These are all just um, regular lace. And I'm just gonna open up a few of them to show you the inside, but they're basically the same thing. 
Let's open it the right way around. So again, I've matched the papers inside, created that triple envelope, and have the little journaling cards there. And I've added some washi tape and stuff to these. Um, I've added some little, let's get in there, some little labels and some washi tape and stickers to these. And then on the inside, I did put that pocket, but I made it into the envelope, excuse me, I did add a little Velcro. It does have some paper in it. Um, again, this is from another one of the pads that I got in my monthly mailing box. Um, but I'm just trying to use up the supplies that I have again. So that closes. I've got a little label there. I've used some other washi stickers and labels and then I've just added it so that there's a pocket behind as well. And then throughout again, I've just gone in and tried to cover up some of the, this had all the little the weather the clouds and sun and moon and I've just covered those up with some stickers here and I've got some graph paper some lying paper so again I've just gone through and added the odd sticker here and there just to cover up so that I can use it as a complete writing page and then on the back on the inside again I've just created that pocket and then I have the washi tape in the um, postage stamps and then some more of the little journaling cards as well on the inside here so there's that one and they're like again they're pretty much the same just different papers on the inside this is the cactuses and this has the journaling cards and then this has some green graph paper it actually has some dot grid on one side and graph on the other. And then instead of adding the little tiny stickers, I've added some colorful washi tape that I made there. Again, I've left some pages that have a lot of writing. See, they have, so I could go in there and just put some stickers or something on that. But I'm going to be drawing on that page, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I've just added some more of the tape. And there's another pocket. And again, the German cards on the back. So there's that one. All of them have a different color sari ribbon. This one has a little calendar there with your journaling cards. Again, all of them have the pocket now on the inside with the Velcro and the paper in the inside. And then some of them I've done a little bit more of the washi tape, a few more labels. But I've basically tried to keep them blank so that we can write in them and use them for instructions and notes and that type of thing. So there's that one. There's this green one. And some of them I used a lot more of the tape in, in rather than putting in the stickers. I just thought it looked prettier. And then I've used a lot more of the labels to cover up some of the things. So this is where the little weather things were and I've just used a white sticker there. But the other ones I've used that this tape, washi tape. And then again, your journaling cards in the back. And then this one has roses. Oops, upside down. Here's the odd sticker and washi tape in here to cover up some of the things that were in there. And again, your little pocket there. And your cards there as well.
So each one has a couple of pages of graph, a couple of this what I would call journaling ledger paper, and then this with the larger lines would be, that's journaling, um, the, the wide space. You could make a list of supplies and stuff like that, so that would be more of a list page. And then again, your journaling cards in the back. <clears throat> And then another one of these, and this one has the calendar and the pink papers, again with your journaling cards here, and your pocket with the paper inside. And then this one, I think I've done little white stickers down the side so you don't see the sun and the moon, but I've added the washi tape on the top and some spots and some little stickers here and there. So each one has one, two, three, thirty-two pages. So you have a month's worth of creating in there, and then three more journaling cards in the back. So you have three journaling cards in the back, two journaling cards here, and then inside your little envelopes, you have a journaling card on each of these pockets, and then there's paper inside. So there's lots of writing spaces. And I didn't put labels on the fronts of these. I thought it might be good for people to put their own labels on the fronts. This one has the green paper inside with your pockets and stuff. And then again, I've tried to use washi tape um, labels. <clears throat> I've covered up all those little sun and moon things so you have more writing space. Lots of little labels and stuff in there. And then your journaling cards in the back here. And two more. And this one has the pink paper. And again, a lot of the um, washi tape and little stickers here. And that's, like I say, this is um, <clears throat> about 10 inches. So you've got a lot of writing space there. That's a 10 inch page. So that's a, a nice long writing surface for you to create on. <clears throat> I keep losing my voice, sorry. And then your journaling cards in the back. And the last one Pink, sorry, silk, and the pink interior. <clears throat> Oops. Your journaling card there, and again, some stickers and washi tape. Your graph paper, your what I would call your list paper, more journaling, more graph. So you could have at least four or five projects in here. Um, it could be a month long creative process you're doing. And then your journaling cards in the back. So that is my long botanical journals. Got um, quite a few of them here. So I've got 10 of these. And then my original one I'm keeping for myself so that I can work on my, my, writing down how I made these journals. This is going to go in this one, so that's my original one. But I have 10 that I'm going to go ahead and list on my Etsy shop. Um, I'm also working on um, my little mini journal each day. I'm posting it on Instagram. And I've been trying to do something every single day. Normally I do it at night before I go to bed. So sometimes I have to post it in the morning because it's quite late. But... I've been trying to do something creative every single day, so I have to work on today's. But these are just little mini journals that I've made, again, from scraps. Um, something to do to keep me motivated. I'm finding it um, difficult when you're away from your friends. Um, yes, you can get online, but during the day when you're you're sitting around your house, it's, it's really hard to, I'm finding it really hard to keep motivated. So I'm trying to do something creative every day in my little journal and then continuing with some of these things. Um, a friend of mine also sent me a little charm, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. 
um, this lovely little charm. It's a little journal and it does open up. You have to pop the little button out and unwrap it and it's got these little pages in it, but it's a charm. So I went through all of my scraps that I had here. I have some of this turquoise pleatherette and some black. And these are just in a scrap pile that I had. I have some leather somewhere around here. And this is just a little bit of suede. Um, so I went ahead and created this one. I've glued totally shut. I just glued it and then I'm going to add a little charm, a little jump ring on the corner and that's a charm. So this one is glued closed. And then I went ahead and tried to <laughs> make some other little tiny ones. And these ones actually open up. Um, they've got little sewn, um, sewing down the sides, so you can actually open them up. So there's some little black ones. And there's some little turquoise ones and I'm just working on the little teal ones. So they do open up. You just have to slide the button underneath the thread and I will show you. And I thank Sharon for the idea because they're tiny. They're harder but um, they're a lot of fun to make and I'm using up some more scraps that I have. So you can open them up and they do have some little papers in there. There is Two, four, six, twelve in each signature, so 36 pages in there. And then you just wrap it, wrap it, and slide the button underneath the string. And I still have to add the little jump rings, <coughs> excuse me, um, to the corners. And I may add a little um, butterfly charm to the jump ring so that it'll have a little butterfly floating there on the little jump ring. But that was something else I started playing with um, yesterday after I finished the journals. I started making these little tiny. <laughs> they were a lot of fun. Thank you very much Sharon for the idea. I'm 100%. Um, she was the motivation for this um, by sending me this lovely little one. I just love it. And this is made with some leather, so I'll have to dig out and see if I can find any leather scraps that I have in my bin. But I also like them gluing them. It was glued totally closed. You don't open this one at all. But I thought that would be nice hanging from a little chain somewhere. So anyway, so that's what I've been playing with. I hope you're staying creative. I hope you're chatting with your friends online and posting things. And if you don't, if you're just taking it easy, that's okay too. Um, but please remember to keep in touch with people, um, watch some videos, leave some comments, just to keep the banter going. Um, it really helps people keep motivated if you keep the conversations going. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel and we'll keep doing some more tutorials and trying to keep people creative during this really tough time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon.